Okay, so she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well, and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. Birdie. Oh, is that, say, the college over there? Yeah. It looks like everyone's getting ready for, ooh, Halloween. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's up with the cat? What the? What a mess. I should investigate. Scrap, Arthurton. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. She had a bit of a hoarding problem. The puzzling postcard. Bonfire celebration. Notice board. The notice board was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always said, a good detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Mystic Healing with Gloria. Monthly Meetup Stargazer Society? Textbooks for sale, lightly chewed, pop up party project this Tuesday, missing cat answers to Trevor. Ooh. I wonder if that's the cat that knocked over all the trash. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? Town notice. Curfew. Oh no! They've extended curfew hours! Again! Stay safe, stay indoors. 9 p.m. to sunrise. Please pardon our mess while we improve your power grid. During this period, you may experience the minor inconvenience of daily blackouts. 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous! But necessary. Power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. Because someone's diverting that power for their own nefarious ends! Under the lake. Specifically, uh, bingo. All night bingo. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. Rabid bingo goers everywhere, mad that they didn't win the free ticket to the library and somewhat used washing machine. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. guy reading a book over there. What is up with that bush? And it seems to be the only bush. Animated shrub! A shrub! Flee! Flee! Is this the only one with glitter or berries on it? Yep. Hey! You! Oh! Hey there! What are you doing back there? Well, I was pruning. But then I discovered the cerulean bugberry bush. Discovered? These bushes are all over Arthurton. Actually, this is an incredibly rare bloom. Ah, there's nothing rare about Arthurton. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. Well, uh, might as well see. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark. Eyes? They're sentient. Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist, which I read as bloodlust, which is confusing. 
and flowers with nectar as sticky as super glue. But why can't I have my hand there? Because it's annoying my my heels. Where? I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strasbury in his greenhouse. Anyway, I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. The Dean's retirement, huh? Now don't mind me as I super snip the inside of this bush, killing it. Rare species shall not exist in my town. Ha <laughs> ha! Are those Celosias? They look like Celosias. Finkelstone Manor. He really named parts of the town after himself, didn't he? Oh, I really do not like this song. Do do do. It's just the same three. It's it's one of those where you keep thinking it's gonna like rise to some kind of crescendo, but it doesn't, and it's like super samey. Look at sign. Whoop. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Uh-oh. There's something like that always happens at a party. Oh, are they they're trying to put the head on the statue? That's a bad portent. Is he gonna lose his head? Left! Left! I said left, damn it! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left! Obviously I meant my left. Why would I mean your left? You want me to move it the other way? Yes, nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. Busy. I should probably leave them to it. Oh, that might be the mayor himself. Or the dean, sorry. This is the college. We will miss you. Hello, Mr. Straussberry. How are you today? Miss Straussberry. Beloved Dean of Gumbolt, everyone's surrogate uncle, laughs like Santa Claus. Well, now you know what voice to give him. Jolly gentlemen, the Dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He had a quota to meet, after all. He's also Mom's boss. Once he made the mistake of shaking a baby, that did not go well. Hey! He had to flee town. Ponder. But more than that, he was a local fr loyal friend. He didn't shake the baby very hard. But it gave him a reputation. What do you think, Jenny? Santa Claus, remember. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumbolt. The townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. What a striking resemblance to Mr. Straussberry. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Really can't go with the deeper voice? He's starting to sound an awful lot like Arthurton. Yeah, I know, I'm stuck, but like, I only have one Santa voice and it sounds like Arthur. No, it no, sucks. No, no. You'd have to do. <laughs> Great <laughs> excuse for a party. Retirement. Okay, fine. Deeper. Uh, deeper. Lemon scented days of my youth voice. Here we go. <laughs> Great excuse for a party, though. <laughs> What will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Denny. Jenny. I march is on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we'll get through it. What do you mean, we? You think they made my belly too big? Uh, I think they haven't made it big enough. Good sir, actually. you are shaped like an eggplant with legs and arms attached to it. 
Should we be honest or should we be? You honest? literally keep a spoon in your breast pocket. Oop. This. Oop. Oops. Uh, it might be all those bronze pancakes, Mr. Straussberry. No legacy is so rich as honesty. <laughs> you're, cl you're a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Speaking of which, have you been practicing your detective skills? Have I? Of course! Always! Well then, I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. Pancakes? Hmm. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. A fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take her take all her wits to solve. Okay, respect, respect your, your elders. elders. Ah, well, okay. Anything for you, Mr. Straussberry? Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Dean Straussberry. <laughs> I mean, I noticed that there was a button missing, missing. Uh, with some stuff. I was, I was gonna say, it would be pretty great if we just start grilling from like, why did you do it? Why did you murder that man? He's just like, ah. Ah. Oh. oh, look, does it have strawberry on it? Yep. Those look like strawberry seeds. Blood, salty, no, sweet, seeds, texture, odor, fruit. It's jam. The Dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. He killed a strawberry. Ooh, a little G pin. Gumboat logo. Basketball game today? Number one fan. The Dean was a big fan of Gumboat Moonbeams. And not just because his son was a prominent figure on the team. Well, a bench warmer anyway. Oh, does he have powdered sugar mm -hmm. on his bow tie? Powder? Dandruff, no hair. Sugar? It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. A spoon. Spoon instead of pen. Forgetful? Under stress. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. Ah, there we go. Is he preparing a speech? Shaky penmanship. Unusually cluttered. Lots of revision, self-doubt. Thick bundle of note cards poked out of the Dean's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Straussberry. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggest I, suggested I keep it short, and quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. <laughs> Anything on that mustache Black, soulless his? eyes. Stash of evil. The big belly. Big belly. Oh, what's that? He's been out in the grass? For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Straussberry. Well, I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. Oh, what? Oh. 
hitchhikers. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clumsy. Clingy. Oh, clingy. I will say I'm looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. Ring on his left hand. Yeah, yeah, let's look at the stuff. Yeah, it is a nice ring, but there's also a pocket watch. Solid gold. Old, so old, at least a hundred years, family heirloom. Nearly an hour slow. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my! That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. So he didn't have cheesecake. Guess I shouldn't have bullied the chef then. Oh well. My head's not screwed on today. Thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh, really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh. Well, of course she wouldn't. It's nothing, nothing important. Why are you meeting, then? Oh, it's just, uh... It's helping me finalize my, uh... plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, uh, that, that's it. My retirement party. Thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Straussberry? <laughs> of course, of course. Now, let me fix my watch before I forget. Now, where were we? All right, now let's take a look at that ring. Oh, yeah. There we go. Shiny. Gumbolt logo. Class ring. Maybe clubber fraternity. Ipsa scientia. Potestas est. Looks like Latin. So that's something about how science is... Potestas est. So, science is something. Yep. Something great? Something... Hmm. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And then, when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. The Strasbourg family had been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. Knowledge. Okay, so... Power. Potestas. Because that was, like, great and powerful. Scientia. So, knowledge is literally science. Like, science is literally knowledge. Ooh. We're a family of wizards. Don't mm -hmm. tell anybody. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. So, what do you think, Jelly? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Straussberry. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. So we've got the shirt button with the red jam. And, the and we've got the bow tie with the sugar. Likely they used to serve coffee, powdered sugar pastry, donuts, ja tasty jam filling spilled on shirt. Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts. Solved. I mean, you could have also had, aren't there plenty of things that have jam with powdered sugar on them. I swear I've seen that with... Oh, but pancakes, you would have syrups and other things. I don't know. What else can you tell about the Dean's morning? Gumbolt pin, spoon, and pocket watch? Probably... Yeah, the Dean's pocket watch is an hour s slow. Oh, it was buttoning correctly. Remember? Mm-hmm. So oh, maybe spoon, spoon, pocket and watch, and button. button. Yeah, yeah. He was in a hurry. 
Normally carries a pen. 45 minutes slow, forgot to wind. All signs of a distracted man. Rare for the Dean. Preoccupied. The Dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. Which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. <laughs> you had a donut for breakfast. Yes? I'm guessing. Oh, but strawberry, right? I mean, both, yeah. both will have it. Strawberry. How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Straussberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket, and your shirt button is undone. Bye bye. You really are a little canoe. Your father would be so proud. Hmm. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. Oh, so that's the Keith character. The son. And I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. I mean, it seems like a small town. If they have their own college that everyone goes to, and... What else did they say? Just a coffee shop in one street that had everything? Mm -hmm. It's probably just those one street towns. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? Pardon? Uh, nothing. <laughs> See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny Leclou. He gets beheaded. Uh, who knows? Something or alternatively, his mother's her mother's getting remarried. Just Strasberry. <laughs> A lot of telephone booths, that's for sure. Uh, uh, oh no. Uh oh. And the mystery phone calls that <gasps> Well that's not creepy at all. In her short time as a detective, Jenny had learned to uh, never to ignore a ringing phone. Just go up to it. I can, I can just go up to it, but the avocado hall. Answer the phone. Usually there's someone making demands at the other end. Hello? The god barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Notice how. He's emphasizing dog loudest, the dawn. Really? This again? It's me, Jenny. You don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. The dog barks loudest before the dawn! Fine. Horse or bird? Horse, bird, third option. Pegasus. <laughs> well, probably a bird, right? Or yeah, just bird. horse. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Good. The wind blows strongly from the east. Probably glass houses? With the watching, right? Maybe. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. Excellent. The evening sky is full of fireflies. Goldfish. I like goldfish. Okay. The absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. 
No, poor goldfish. Aha! Jenny, it is you. Of course it is. I need to meet with you right away. Okay. Where do you want to meet? This place will do. CJ, conspiracy theorist, frequently jailed for public outbursts, questionable grasp of reality. Everyone knew that CJ was mad, even dangerous. He's not dangerous. He just doesn't accept things at face value. Sure, he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least he's passionate about something. CJ and Jenny certainly indulged each other's obsessions. But most of all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little kid. Uh, CJ! Why did we go through all that if you're right he there? Or here? Can't right. be too careful! Oh, look, he has a pin that says, I saw them. Yep, I'm going to give him a madman voice. And his hair is poking yep. out of his... Okay. Are you sure you won't follow? Who would be following me? Shush, shush. This place is compromised. We don't have to have... We don't have long to talk. Now... What did you want to talk to me about? What? You called me. Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. You had a rough idea of where you were headed, but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get there. I'll help you figure it out. The interrogation of CJ. Look at that hair. three clues. You had something. Magnifying glass. I mean, there's Magnifying this. Glass. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the I saw them button, but it looks like a pocket one. Oh, a compass. With an Illuminati eye. Hidden in plain sight. Strange symbols. Cracked glass. Wandering needle. I knew he was hiding something. A compass with strange symbols. Where the cardinal directions should be. Looks broken. Where did you get that compass? Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me. To find the truth. You're not going to find anything with that. The needle is wandering all over the place. A bit like you. It's searching. For what? For them! It's this town, Jenny. It's Arthurton. They're here among us, and this proves it! Or... It could just be broken? Could be. I guess we'll never know. Well, there's definitely something in his hand. Whose birthday? How old is CJ? And what does CJ stand for? Claire. Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Whose birthday? Clankson's birthday, but Clankson died on his birthday. Is he Clankson something? What? Assassination, possibly. Abduction, almost certainly. CJ, the card. Oh, this. Oh, it's for you. Impossible shot. Died instantly. Oh. Sorry about your dad. No suspects. No human suspects, anyway. Thanks, CJ. That's, um, thoughtful. I didn't think you'd remember. I know what it's like to lose something important to you. Now, triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible. It's got my fingerprints all over it.
among us. Oh yeah, something. Aliens are among us. Yep. Tucked into socks. Not good at hide. Not a good hiding place. Mm. What's that sticking out of your sock? Aha! That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message, classified intel. It's proof, Jenny. It's happening again. And it's time for us to join the fight. Aliens are among us, and they are coming for your pets. Are you prepared? Will you answer the call? Oop, sorry, I accidentally it's skipped okay. something. It's been professionally printed. Could CJ finally be onto something? Lip. Join the space cadets today. Mail in your application to get your official Pop Flakes ray gun and flashlight. Just 11 to 15 weeks, just five box tops and 20 cents shipping. Wow. Hurry, supplies are limited. So this is an ad. Yep. No, it's just part of a cereal box. A cereal box? From another space time continu continuum? Nope, just a regular cereal box. And it's an ad for a toy. But why? Why would it just be lying there in the trash? Flip it? Already. Oh, you already flipped it. Exit. Yep. I'm sorry, CJ. There are still great mysteries out there to solve. But this isn't one of them. So, what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush hush. Have they let you back in? Not yet. But I've got this hat now! It wasn't your head that needed covering. No! For disguise! I know, CJ. What is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny! You sound crazy. I'm just preparing my defense for the hearing! Is this because you tried to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize poodle? No, no, that was last week. It's because I peed in the water tower! <gasps> Ew! CJ, that's gross! And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from the mind control chemicals! He thought peeing into it would remove the mind control chemicals? <gasps> Uh. Mm. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ was gone. Ah, uh, CJ. I know you're standing behind the phone booth. I just watched you walk over there. No, I'm not. Okay, then. Bye. See you later. Oh, hey. Ida. Hey. Ah! Damn. That's the third time today. Oops. Hi, Jenny. Great job solving that case today. Hmm. It's really cute the way that you and your mom work together. I wish I was that close to my pair. Enough chit chat. Got any new, anything new for me? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Hmm. This is the real deal, hot off the press. I haven't had a chance to distribute these yet, so keep them to yourself. Ada and Jenny belong to one of the oldest societies in Alverton. An eclectic band of treasure hunters, collectors, creators, and dealers. Together they were known as Sticker Club. Oh. For generations, Gumbold students had been hiding and finding stickers all over town. Officially, Jenny was too young to join. 
But she'd found so many stickers on her own, they'd made her an honorary member. Let's see. Nice crisp edges, rich colors, very tacky. Thanks, I spent all week making these. If only you'd spend as much time on your schoolwork. You might not be failing my mom's class. Uh, Jenny thought to herself. It's to celebrate the Dean's retirement. I'm super sad that he's leaving, but... It's a perfect reason to make new stickers. Exactly! Oh, we're going to an epic sticker hunt before the Dean's party. You should join us. Even if Jenny had wanted to join them. And I don't. She knew, she knew she'd be stuck with her cousin all weekend. Hmm. Thanks, but I work alone. Oh, okay. See you around, Jenny. Look, the bird is flying. You trapped that poor bird in a space vacuum. <laughs> a time vacuum. Can't do anything. Lake Nowhere. One mile. The... They said only play for an hour, but I think they underestimate how much longer it takes... To get to the dream sequence? Well... Stop! I... Uh, it's more so how long it takes with voice acting. Perfect. Hold it right there. Oh, that doesn't look like it's gonna okay. connect. Okay, let her go. Oh no! Oh. Oh dear. That was ominous. Mm-hmm. 